year later. Probably think that uh, with the coaching staff there at Iowa City, they probably strategize a little bit more to try to keep the uh, match a little tighter. We'll see how that works. Both athletes stalking each other. It wasn't an easy route for Davis, the defending champion, as he uh, won in overtime uh, last night. Yeah. There's the standings, and there still is a race, or there was a race. I think Lincoln's had their two finalists, right? Yes, they have. I think that so, kind of sews it up there for Iowa City West. They'll take home a third-place trophy. You see in this match, uh, Anthony Watson likes to work in space. Uh, touch and go type techniques where Chad Davis likes to maybe get, work off the ties a little bit, works the short offense. Both schools wrestling very tough schedules. Uh, it's very seldom that they go undefeated through the schedules they wrestle. Chad Davis 45 and 3 coming into tonight. Anthony Watson 36 and 4. Both of them were here last year in the finals. They've made their way back. They found their way back to compete against each other again. Well, you mentioned coming back to the finals. Oh, there's a headlock. A shot. Oh, man, that's tight. Oh, tight, my tight. goodness. It wasn't really particularly well set up, but now it is tight. This is going to be tough to fight off for Watson. That's very tight. Doing a great job of keeping Watson's head off the mat. Making him keep his... Chad Davis keeping his own rear end off the mat. Puts all the pressure on Watson right there. And he's just... Boy, Watson's doing a fantastic job of fighting that off, but there's a lot of time, Tim. Still for about 15 seconds, fight this off. He's gonna fight it off. He is really gonna do a great job here. Look at, he's keeping his elbow posted. That keeps that shoulder off the mat. Yeah, very, very few people can do what he just did for that 38 a, seconds or about, right about 40 seconds. That's a phenomenal athletic move to stay off your back. A lot of got, fellows would have quit there, but here it's just bowls right into him and kind of just that's something you see at the kids, <laughs> kid level there. Three. Not necessarily well executed, but uh, when you're up 5-0, you'll take it. 5-0 at the end of the first period. Chad Davis in front of Anthony Watson. Cover. So Watson got a big hole to come back from, but he's happy Cover. to come. He's happy to be in a position to try to come back. Yes, he is. Watson's going to go ahead and give uh, Davis another point. Now behind 6-0. Well, you mentioned, we mentioned about four-timers here. Davis has been a four-time finalist. Uh, Won the championship, of course, last year, but finished second twice before that. So, actually, won second once. So, he's... Yeah, he was second in 98, second in 99. We've yeah. seen two wrestlers tonight, uh, Swafford from Mediapolis and Buter from Cedar Falls, be in that situation. Chad Davis just kept on coming. Yes, he Wins did. it last year as a junior back, and I'll tell you what, yeah, he, he's proven he's a tough competitor. Action! Action! Yeah. Anthony Watson comes up into a double leg attempt here, drives through, so he's getting himself back in the match, doing what he needs to do. He might want to do just what he's doing, that's right. Yep. He says, I'm going from the feet. One score seven to two. 114 left in the period, so there's another double leg attempt, and he got it. He got it, that's two. Anthony Watson is coming, he's showing me something here. To use a phrase that Gable uses all the time, he's showing me something right here, coming off his back and getting two straight takedowns. That's great. Poise. It's called poise, and uh, he knows where he's at. He knows what he has to do. Looks pretty fresh, too, really. You can tell that Davis has a lot of respect for his uh, three shots there. And a pawn at the forehead. Yeah, he really is a lot more effective, Watson is, from staying, staying out, isn't he? Yeah, working in space, and this is where da Davis works pretty well. Now, great job by... Davis working in the fireman's type, carry type situation. He's going to give up the points. One count there. Oh, well, tried to work for the big move. Watson did, and Davis kind of settled back down and got the points. Well, he's really got himself a hold now. Yeah. Uh, uh, Looked like twelve was, to four. Looked like he was digging himself out of that hole for a while, but that last takedown and back points. So Make, going from five points down to eight points down now. Scores 12-4. Um, yeah. 12-4 in favor of Davis over Watson in uh, 2A. Wells from Clorinda leads Arbogast from Assumption 5-2 with less than a minute left in the second period. 
And with 45 seconds left in the second period, it scores two to two on the 1A between Burkle and Greedy. Sometimes a big move like that, the big headlock could take it out of both wrestlers there. You know, Davis was doing all he could to squeeze the head and arm and putting everything in to, he had into it to complete the match at that point, get the fall. We're going into the third period at 130 pounds. 12 to four lead for defending state champion Chad Davis. Rematch of last year's 119 pound championship match. You're looking at Anthony Watson. Should be Watson. And uh, nice takedown attempt there, driving through. Boy, he's had some nice yes. shots here. Let's him up. He's, he's actually leading the takedown uh, derby three to two. Losing the big move battle. Nice duck under attempt there by Davis. They go off the mat. And again, anytime they get in close, Davis has the uh, advantage, doesn't he? It does. Looks like we're gonna have a little bit of uh, injury time for a little bit of blood. In uh, 1A, the score is three to two in favor of Burkle over Greedy. Burkle from Northland, Troy Mills. Greedy from Sydney. Here we go. We're still neutral. We're Iowa still Public neutral. Television's college wrestling website is a hit. More than 100,000 college wrestling fans visited the site in January. And now we have a great way for you to support your college wrestling telecast through the website. Become a college wrestling web supporter and get your name listed on the site. Plus some other cool gifts like a collectible poster and tape. Log on to www collegewrestling.iptv.org and show your support. Join Jim and I and join me and join Dan, all of us who support this uh, uh, wrestling, uh, college wrestling, because we can't do it without you. We need you to join our team. Help support us. www.collegewrestling.iptv.org Tim, the only change here has been that Davis has been warned for stalling. Watson has turned into the aggressor in this match. Minute left in the whole shooting match here and 13 to 6 lead by Davis. Nice takedown attempt there, getting a lot of penetration. Having to travel a long way to get that single leg shot. The referee's going to call a stalemate here again. I think Watson's probably going to start looking to go upper body here, get some type of throw. Takedowns just aren't quite enough and you see Davis here, good low square stance, lowering his level, dropping into the leg, kind of half-hearted shot there. He's in the leg, we'll see if he just tries to finish it out here and ride out to win. 35 seconds left in the match, Davis in on it, and in good shape with a seven point lead. Yeah, he's milking the clock here, 31 seconds left. What I, what I like what I see from Davis here, he just keeps a good low position. He's about a half a head lower than Watson. One point. Stalling call and a takedown. So there's another takedown attempt by Watson. Should get it. Nope, oh, nice. Uh, gonna, no, we're gonna go off the mat with 17 seconds left. So the score's 14 to nine. We have warning green. There's Keith oh, Massey, yeah. hoping to get uh, Chad Davis uh, a victory here. If they win this match here, they've set the record in 3A for the amount of points set by a team, so quite an accomplishment by the Lewis Central program. Overtaking the record by some great Bettendorf teams, uh, the Bettendorf team of 1982. So uh, a lot of people thought that record would never be broken. That was a great team. I, I remember I was coaching that year and at Mount Vernon and uh, Frank Freeman, the, the coach there at Bettendorf, tremendous team. A big move here, potentially, but Davis, good position. Looking for the two points. Watson give it is, up. Yeah. Whoa. There's no point. We're going to close it down right there. 16 to 9 score. But I tell you what, Mr. Watson can be proud of himself. He went out there and represented himself pretty well. Oh, he lost I mean, his, he was dead in the water. Yes, he was. And uh, he, uh, he swam out hard, and it was upstream all the way, but he never gave up. Uh, fine performance by both wrestlers. Two-time state champion, Chad Davis. Four-time finalist. Whoa. Got a little controversy up here in 2A. 
We'll see it. Going to overtime? Yep, we're going to go to overtime. 7-7 seven seven score. Trevor Arbogast versus Mike Wells at Clarinda. One of, uh, one of the wrestlers, I think it was Arbogast, uh, looked like he might have had a takedown right at the end. Right there at the edge, a lot of commotion. Coaches up off their chairs. Both officials in the same spot. Now a single leg attempt here by Michael Wells. Stepping up. So we're in a two-minute overtime period. About 1.30 left. Both athletes over and under. Score 7-7 seven, seven at the end of regulation. Now a minute and a half left as they're on their feet. And if they don't score here, they'll flip a coin. And one will get the choice to be either up or down. But I don't think we're going to go that far. We may not. What Michael Wells trying. Oh, he's just walking off the mat there with. He's got to be careful. That's almost like a fleeing the mat type situation. Nice short drag attempt by Wells. And here's another single leg attempt by Wells. Going to bring the rest of his body in there to try to get the attack. Now he's going to work up into an upper body tie. I don't think he likes being in here. Arbogast, now a duck under attempt. Arbogast doing a good job of warding that technique off. See how he keeps his chest up. Now he spins around, baits him into it, gets the two points, and he's a champion. Arbogast goes to 27th victory of the year, 27-5 and five from Assumption, the state champion in overtime over Michael Wells. Ends the year 44-3 and three for Clorinda. Trevor Arbogast. Go to the awards. 30 pounds, the champion is Kyle Burkle, North Lynn, Troy Mills, just north of Cedar Rapids. He's only a 16-year-old sophomore, and he was wrestling a 19-year-old senior, but he decisioned Lane Greedy 5-3. The champion, Kyle Burkle of North Lynn. Thank you, Dean. That's 2 at 130 pounds. I believe we just witnessed our first overtime match. It was Trevor Arbogast, a junior from Davenport Assumption, against Michael Wells of Clorinda. Wells got a five-point lead early. Then Arbogast came back, tied it up 7-7 late in the third period. They go into overtime. Arbogast gets the takedown, wins the match. He's the 2A, 130-pound state champion. Ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the award stand area at the east end of the auditorium. Presenting the Class 1A 100-pound awards, Coach Tim Travis of Sydney. Sixth place, Riley Wagaman, Wilton. Fifth place, Tyson Beat, Odebold Arthur. Fourth place, Thomas Sweeney, St. Albert, Ponce Bluffs. Third, Tyler Greiser, Ogden. Runner-up, Kyle Burkle, North Lynn, Troy Mills. And the 130-pound state champion from Sydney, Lane Greedy. Let's go to Dean Borg. But he's the champion. Thank you, Dean. Let's go back to the 2A awards. Presenting the Class 2A 130-pound awards, Coach Bill Mathis of Davenport Assumption. Sixth place, Brett Vogel, Jessup. Fifth place, Jeff Ryerson, Esterville, Lincoln Central. Fourth place, Justin Weigel, Iowa Falls. Third place, Ryan Oldham, PCM Monroe. Runner-up, Michael Wells, Florinda. And when the 130-pound state champion, Class 2A, Trevor Arbogast, Assumption Davenport. Okay, Joe, what do you... Presenting the Class 3A 130-pound awards, assistant coach Gary McCall of Lewis Central. Sixth place, Edgar Haynes, Cedar Rapids, Washington. Fifth place, Josh Peterson, Clinton. Fourth place, Brad Stockton, Iowa City West. Third place, Patrick Alabone, Bishop Heelan, Sioux City. Runner-up, Anthony Watson, Iowa City, City High. And the Class 3A, 130-pound champion and a four-time finalist, Chad Davis, Lewis Central. <laughs> 